<laughs> oh boy. <coughs> that was loud. Anyway, I was just checking to see if this works and it does. So, good morning anybody that's watching. I'm not using OBS today. I was just trying to see if, <laughs> if, if I could get the inbuilt, built in Twitch broadcast thing to work. I'm just trying this for today and then I'm probably not trying it again. Uh, where did it go? Oh, yeah. So anyway, if you didn't watch my last broadcast, which I am assuming most people didn't, then you would have known that I got my first ever decisive defeat in Rome 2. I think in Shogun 2, in multiplayer, it's happened twice. But, um... In... In Shogun 2, that was multiplayer, and it was... Both times it was, um... Or ranked. What was I saying? Um, both times it was ranked, both times I really got messed over. The very first time I think I just didn't have enough veterans and I, I made around it pretty quickly. Both times my general didn't die though. So yeah, it's just understanding how cavalry work and really in Shogun 2 understanding how useful spears are and their limits when it comes to fighting cavalry because they do have limits also you have to be my game style my game type of play i guess my game style is re based on mobility and not hunkering down i like to always be moving I like, to, I like to be flexible i like my army to be somewhat versatile I turn to a number of threats instead of having just simply anti-infantry units like Katana Samurai, Katana Cav. Naginata warrior, Naginata warrior monks are good for both. They are better against Cav than they are against infantry though. It's just like a, a sliver difference. There isn't a big difference in the Naginata and the sword. In multiplayer, if the Naginata warrior monks don't use war cry, they'll lose against Katana Samurai. However, if they do, chances are they will win. Because I did a test years ago, and then I figured it out, like how war cry works and whatever. Anyway, back to Rome Two. Again, I lost um, the match, and I did keep the replay. I, I was going over it to see what I did wrong. It was basically me as the RDA versus I'm your father who played as the Armenians. And I just got outmaneuvered uh, and out microed. My armor on my cab wasn't good enough, and after that, I couldn't do anything to stop his own cab. Good, I got some cataphracts, but there was like no way I was winning. He got the high ground too, which I should have known was what was going to happen. I don't consider him cheating or anything. I think he won fair and square, but I also learned a lot from that, that my game style or my gameplay over the years is getting a little rusty and I'm getting a little bit careless with my units. So I'm trying to trying to change that and get back to my maneuverable, flexible and versatile ways. dashboard to see if everything's okay but I'm still I'm a little bit sick but that shouldn't change anything really Shouldn't change anything. Okay, the voice is fine. Okay, so hmm. I just want to check my leaderboard ranking. Okay, so I went up 
I went down by one, so it was 3,606. Or maybe I went up. Yeah. Yeah, it was 3,606. I have 12 wins. I didn't keep that. But I forgot. I have 12 wins and 6 losses. Yeah, I didn't mention this in any of my sp previous streams. However, I just found out how um, one of the attributes work. When you see a Halaic or Roman or probably even Eastern, yeah, Eastern factions have it too. They have the discipline trait, and what it says is, I mean, what it means is that the unit doesn't suffer morale parents when the general dies. That's not 100% true. They do. They just don't suffer it the same way that a barbarian faction would. Because they don't have... Um, they don't have discipline. I think he's just going with the... When you say the fan, with a build like this, I want to get in close. Again, I'm trying to be pretty mobile. You know, not hunker down and then let the enemy go around me and then hit me from the back. And I don't like that. I'd rather that being me. Even though it's more micro-intensive, it pays off. If you can out-micro your opponent in a real-time strategy, then you're probably going to win. Unless, of course, you're messing up with your micro or your macro. Because Shogun 2 is not micro-intensive at all. Because the game speed is pretty fast. Gary Cav are faster than Katana Cav and you can chase them down. Well, Katana Cav I think are the slowest in the game. Which is kind of problematic when you're charging them into line infantry. You should never charge your cavalry frontally into line infantry. Malay infantry! Orders! for blood! We'll kill them all! Orders! I brought the sacred there. Ready for battle! I have a fairly heavy center. This in my army is on force. It's going to be a lack of spears. And so I have to rely on my anti-cavalry units, which are the Skutari, to defeat his own cavalry units. If I can do that, then... What are your orders? <coughs> Skitari, ye horsemen! Magako! Libyan infantry! Anyway, let's just start the battle. Skitari, ye horsemen! These guys on the right, although they are vulnerable to getting charged frontally, are going to probably be more flexible on the right than if they were in the center. Because they could rally if they were in the center. Especially against a uh, pretty good legionary or even Kadi Kirhan. I don't think these guys can go toe to toe with legionary cohorts. 
They probably can, but I don't know. I'd have to watch. Or have to do a test. Horsemen! These Roman dogs are tenacious. Cut one legion down, and like the Hydra's heads, two seem to grow anew. But we will hack them down. We will burn to the heart of the Roman people and be victorious. To arms! They will bleed for us. Can't you be led? Oh, gods, grant me quiet. <laughs> How much did I have last night? Not quite all, Ajar, sir. Uh, I was looking at the voice actors. I noticed... <laughs> I noticed one of the voice actors that I've come to know, like, recognize in Rome 2 is in Wicked You Church. have a dishonest face, lad. You won't die in battle. A nice cheese and some wine. That's what I want. Uh, Do you ever stop thinking about your stuff? I mean, like that play in the Witcher 3 about the doctor's something. <laughs> That's a look at to worry about them idiots over yonder. Say with all due respect to your mentor. I don't like this one. Anyone got a drink? Falcon's Iron Blade. I think they want blood this time. Shame the gods today. Fight. I usually bring skirmishers when I play. Doesn't matter what game I bring skirmishers. You can use your enemy before the main fight is over. Good. Libyan infantry! Infantry at your command! I 
stand up to um further. Vulcan's iron blade! Oh he doesn't have VDAs. He only has Praetorian VDAs and Praetorian Guard on the If his mother repeatedly Press dropped him on his head. Please. He's an officer, and better than us. <coughs> Ugly little buggers, are they? Not like you. Soldiers! Close watch on those bastards! Show them how men behave! <coughs> check your weapons, and then check now again! Is the hour. Draw your swords! <sighs> Don't never mind me, boy. Just them. Death is coming for the lucky ones. Thanks. I feel so much better now. Any chance of rain, do you think? <clears throat> Difficult to say, sir. Swords! Roar! Iberian swords! Melee warriors! Iberian Roar! swords! Ready! Melee fighters, ready! Skidari horsemen! Iberian swords! Spread out! Get running! Libyan infantry! At the double! Ready! Rude sons of Carthage! Eager for blood! Honestly, if I pull this off, then that means he's here. I'm gonna go straight for the general. And these cab units over here. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Now, 
Militari Cavalry! Mounted Warriors! Horsemen! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Mounted Warriors! Swords! Bastards! Riders ready! The enemy general is dead. Light force! Advance at speed! Quickly now! Shieldmen! Nites! Horsemen! Advance at speed! Swords! Warriors eager for blood! Running! Ah! Iberian swords! We hunger for blood and battle! Our horses love blood! Horsemen! Katu Wallo! Shieldmen! Or kill! One of our units has used all its ammunition. Ready. Malay infantry. Gutari. Get out. Ready. Libyan infantry. Warriors ready. I wasn't expecting them to last that. Gotcha. Swords. We'll kill them all! Forward! Battle ready! Move it! Libyan infantry! Charge! We await your orders! Cavalry! May charge! Scutari cavalry! Advance at speed! One of our units has used all its ammunition.
Riders, forward! Warriors, eager for blood! All right, on out! Charge! Skatari, cavalry! Men are wavering. Back for glory! Cavalry! Pull back! As you say! Awaiting orders! Shot for glory! Libyan infantry! Ready for battle! Units has used all its ammunition. Our units has used all its ammunition. My lord! Orders! Orders! Boom, Daco! We await your orders! Feel us for you! Orders, my lord! Into formation! Oh, ready! Blood on! Ah. We hunger for blood and battle! Trophies! Light horse! Kill, kill, kill! Battle kill. ready! Kill, kill, kill! Quickly now! As you say! Loyal sons of Carthage! Tremoras! The battle is turning in our favor.
have known I would have got another decisive victory. Deployed the exact same run mid. Lost 243. Probably could have got a heroic, but who cares. I'm actually, I actually want to continue a campaign. Because I am bored. If the stream's laggier than usual, it's because they have an old game up. But all you have to do is log in and then you get stuff. For the tribe! I start. I have to organize my men. Now. Honor the gods and your ancestors. Ready for orders. Because I'm fighting a lot of spear units, I brought these guys. Over the last battle was chaotic. I, mean, I lost control of some of my units. I had mercenaries in this army, but yeah, it didn't work out well for me. The skirmisher unit that from, from uh, hitting the back of other, other units, it would be slinger because of the amount of ammunition they have. Like with javelin men, you can't route one unit unless they're like lightly armored. When it comes to Praetorian guards and such, it takes like at least two on the back to completely route them. With slingers, I think it just takes one. Archers, it's kind of the same thing, but... I mean, slingers have a faster rate of fire, just have less armor penetration overall. Thirsty for battle! In battle, there is no finer ending. <coughs> ah! yeah! Honor the gods and your ancestors. Getting my men back up to fighting strength. I live to serve the people of Gaul. And like I said, I have to reorganize my fighting ability. Change my tactics up. Thirsty for battle! Flank more Which I used to, but I guess ch I changed over the years. But yeah, after that decisive defeat, I'm just changing up my tactics now. Seeing what works, what doesn't. Set up a watch. Always lose, losing some units. 
this is just going to take three turns, which I can deal with. Four spear warriors and I guess a good build of Celtic warriors would be is somewhat good. However, that last battle made me realize, because I didn't take this into account, that disciplined, that barbarian units are disciplined and therefore will route. If the general dies much easier. Because it's a. For any unit that's not disciplined, it's a minus 30 debuff to morale. That means warriors that all. Celtic or Gallic warriors who have 50 morale are hit in the rear and are probably under friendly fire. Well, maybe not under friendly fire. I think you just have to be hit in the back or you're losing too many units then um, what will happen is they'll rout and because the general is dead they'll become shattered and will not come back to the battlefield I've also been working out how melee attack and melee defense works melee attack is apparently more when it comes to like how I grade it one melee attack point equals four melee defense points and I realized this because of the way that Gallic Warriors and Celtic Warriors work they have the same health and morale however Celtic Warriors have two more melee attack but eight less melee defense and I have it's not that it's just this unit I've noticed it with I know it's also one melee attack is 0.5 um, charge bonus. Anyway, one thing that's always caught me off guard is how they still have a two bonus versus infantry, which I believe is wrong, but because it doesn't mention that here, I think it's just um, that the wiki hasn't been updated because they used to have a ten bonus versus infantry since they were a sword unit, but it changed after Emperor Edition. the gods and your ancestors <coughs> I never had um my broadcast set to I mean my broadcast acceptable oh so my stream is lagging a little never had that problem with OBS Again, it probably is because I have two games going on. Anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> 